Now what I want to do today uh, is introduce you to Bearing Finder, uh, walk you through how it can be utilized to your advantage, and how it can make life easier for you and your customers. All right, let's get into it. Now obviously the first thing we need to do is go to Bearing Finder. Uh, NTN Bearing Finder can be accessed in several ways. Uh, the most direct way is going to be just going straight to the URL, um, bearingfinder.ntnamericas.com, uh, as seen up on the screen. Personally, I'd suggest going here today and bookmarking the website, because uh, once you've had a chance to go through it um, and see what Bearing Finder has to offer, you're, trust me, you're going to want to come back again and again. Uh, now, there are a couple of other ways to get into Bearing Finder. Uh, one is to um, through the NTN website, ntnamericas.com. Um, here you can see the uh, website for NTN, and at the top right here you'll see the link to NTN Bearing Finder. Click on that, and hey, we're back in Bearing Finder. Um, if you don't remember the URL and you don't know NTN's website, we're very uh, present on Google searches, so you can type in NTN Bearing Finder. And there we are. Um, you could just type in bearing finder, and there we are. You could type in things like NTN online catalog, and there we are. You could even type in online bearing catalog, and there we are. So there's a bunch of different ways to get into bearing finder and get into it uh, pretty easily. Um, so now that we're in Bearing Finder, let's take a look around. Uh, this is the home screen uh, where you can click on different product types, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, first, if you have a specific part you're looking for, you can simply type it uh, into the search box at the top of the screen. You see you can search three different um, ways. One is by item number, one is by competitor part number, and one is by keyword. Um, I know the part I want, so I'm going to search by item number. I want to search for an L44610. And this will uh, bring me straight to the item detail page. Um, <clears throat> now, say as a distributor, you have a customer calling that needs to replace a Timken taper assembly. But you decide you want to maximize your profit on this deal, so you want to replace their part with the NTN equivalent. So I'm going to click on by a competitor part number and type in the Timken number. Here, search that, and boom, you get the NTN equivalent. So now that we've played around with the search a bit, let's look um, for a part number so we can get into the part detail a bit. I'll go to a generic taper set here. Um, the first thing you see when you scroll down the page is this beautiful image of a tapered roller bearing cup and cone set. Um, you can even zoom in a bit with a little magnifying glass. Um, the other image you're going to see is the line drawing. Um, and we'll get into that in a, in a little more detail in a second. Um, as I continue to scroll down the page, you see your unit of measure. Um, currently, it's set on Imperial because that's the last thing that I was searching for when I was on Bearing Finder. But um, the unit of measure will show you because it's Imperial. If you go down to the dimensions, you'll see everything is in inches. Um, if you were to click on both, you would see inches and millimeters. And then if you click on metric, you'll see just millimeters, obviously. Um, for these purposes, I'm going to go back to Imperial since this is an inch taper set. Um, so let's keep scrolling down. The next thing I see is the ordering options. I mean, once you see all the detail about this part, you're going to want to order it. So here's a few ways where you can do that. Um, one, if you're a user of NTN DOL, our online ordering system, you can just click on order online through NTN DOL. That will bring you straight to your sign-in screen on DOL and you can order the part from there. Um, if you're an end user, um, you can actually click on search for a licensed distributor. That's going to bring you to um, NTN's distributor search page where you can type in your address and see what distributors are nearest to you. And then the final way is contact NTN Customer Relations. I'll click on that, and this will just give me some phone numbers and emails that I can contact at NTN 
um, and customer relations will hook me up with the best way to order this part. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. The next thing I see is the technical specifications. This is basically any attribute about the bearing that's not straight dimensional. Um, so you'll see the bearing material, the precision rating, different load ratings, um, temperature, stuff like that. Um, and this is all very good and useful information. The, the thing I want to note here is if you really are just coming here for the dimensions, you don't have to go through the technical specs if you don't want. You can just click the blue bar here and that will minimize the technical specifications. So you see how it's going to turn from a plus to minus. You can do that with the ordering options. You're not going to want to do that with the ordering options because I know you're going to want to order it. But you can if you want to. Um, so now I'm finally at my dimensional specs. So we're back to this line drawing. And what I can do here is I can click on the line drawing. It'll maximize it. And then I can actually, what I like to do when I'm on here is line up the line drawing with the dimensions themselves. So I can look at the letter, the variable that the dimension is representing, and then line that up with what the actual dimension is. So I'm looking at B for bore size. I find B on my dimensional detail, and I see it's 1.0625 inches. And you can do that uh, with any of the dimensions here. Um, so <clears throat> say you have a customer that's looking for a lot of this info, um, and you have them on the phone. Could you read off a bunch of this info to them? I suppose. but it doesn't seem like the most convenient thing to do. What would be more convenient is if you could just email it to them. Luckily, you can. So you'll see the links up here. If you click on email this page, this will take you to um, the screen where you can email. Uh, type in whoever you want to email. You would want to email this to a customer. Um, then you can type in their email. You would type in your own email so it looks like it came. they know who it's coming from. and and then put some comments if you would like, just uh, ask some background about the business you guys are talking about. And then click on send email, and that'll send them a link to this uh, part page. Another thing you can do is um, download a PDF of this page. Um, if you know you're gonna wanna reference this page a lot in the future, um, you can download a PDF so you don't have to go into Bearing Finder every time. You're still going to want to come to Bearing Finder a bunch of times for a lot of different stuff, but if it's just for this one part, you don't have to every time. You can just download the PDF and have it on your system and access it whenever you want. You can also print it, print this page uh, by clicking on uh, printable page, and that way you can have it at your desk or if someone's at your counter and wants a copy of it, you can give it to them. Um, so these are the different ways you can really access a part detail page without having to go into the part detail. Now, this generic data is useful, very useful, but most of it could simply be found in a paper catalog. Uh, not as easily, mind you, but, you know, we'll say it, it can be found there. Uh, one of the most valuable parts of NTN Bearing Finder is that you can download CAD models straight to your system. Let's see the View CAD Drawing section. Let's click on 3D here. And uh, you can see a 3D uh, model of the bearing, and you can move it around like such. Um, but what I can do with this is I can download this in any of these formats, um, whatever format your system accepts. Um, I can email this to myself or to a customer or whoever uh, wants it. Um, and I can do those same things with the 2D sectional view. like you see here, and then also the 2D sales drawing. So this is going to be a little more detailed than the sectional view because it's going to actually show you the dimensions. What's cool about this one is you can download this and it's actually going to save it as the part number you're looking for from NTN, the date you saved it. So if you're downloading a bunch of these, it's going to be really easy for you to just hit download and save and you'll know which part number is which without having to come up with some crafty name for it. Okay, so now let's say, for example, you don't know exactly the part you're looking for. You can use Bearing Finder to scroll through our various product offerings. Let's go to the top here, and you can see this black box. It's what we call the breadcrumbs. Um, I searched right into this part, 
but if you want to look at the breadcrumbs, you can see this part is part of the tapered roller set, inch and J series, part of inch and J tapered roller bearings, and just shows you kind of the breakdown of where it came from. But I'm going to go back to all categories. And here you can see the various different products that are available on Bearing Finder. Uh, please note that when you click on mounted units, um, only Ultra Class mounted units are available on Bearing Finder at this time. We're still developing the rest of our mount mounted unit line for Bearing Finder, and the full line will be published early next year. So let's go back to the home page and see all the products. Now let's say you're looking for a tapered roller bearing, and you want to see what NTN offers in a particular size range. Since NTN only produces tapered roller bearings in the USA and Japan, you know it's going to be a high quality product. So let's click on tapered roller bearings. And now that I've done that, I can either go to the section with uh, metric ISO series tapers or inch and J series tapers. Uh, because we have such a broad coverage of tapered roller bearings, we have to split these in, we have split these into two different full lines of product. So say I want an inch series taper. Now it's broken down even further. I can, if I want to look for just a component or if I want to look for a full taper cup cone set, I'm going to click on sets. Let's scroll down the page here. Again, I see my unit of measure. Uh, and it's still imperial since the last thing, that's the last thing I selected. But again, I want to see both or whatever I want to see, I can do that. Um, <clears throat> I could also, now I'm on this page, you see over a thousand results. I can, if I wanted to, go through each of these pages and look at all the different um, parts in this product line. Um, however, that would take a long time because we offer so many different sizes. Um, but if I look at the product table itself, I can sort by different dimensions. So see, you, see here you see a B for bore size. I'm going to click on that. And now that's sorted it from smallest bore size to largest bore size. See how they're ascending? And then I'm in the little red arrow here. Then I'm going to click again. And now it's descending from largest to smallest. Um, now most of the time you're going to come to this page, you're not going to be looking for a whole catalog of parts, so you'll want to see a specific size range. If you look on the left hand side, you'll see any dimension that's listed on the product table is listed on the left hand side for you to filter your range. So I'm going to filter it to show I only want to see um, inch and J saber sets that are between three and three and a half inches. So I'm going to click at least three and no more than three and a half and filter that. So now you'll see uh, the smallest bore size here is three. And if I go back to descending, my largest one is three and a half. And you'll also see um, it's down to 220 results as opposed to over a thousand like it was before. Um, so say I want to compare a few items to see what the difference is between them. So see the little checkbox on the left hand side of this part number or the part numbers? I'm going to click a few of these and go to compare items. Um, you can see um, when an attribute only displays one result across all the, the different products, that means it's the same attribute uh, for all the products. So all of these um, are case carburized steel, all of them are obviously tapered roller bearings. But then you'll scroll down and you'll see some of these are split into three different cells. That means there's a differentiation and one, at least one of the parts that you're comparing is different from the rest. Um, as you can see, this is 5.8125 versus the sixes, and these are different. So that's a nice way that you can compare the bearings and see what's different about them and what's the same. The other thing I can do from here or from the product table page is add items to my CAD card. Now, if I wanted to add them from here, I could just check these boxes. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it from the product table. So we're back at the product table. I want to, I, I want the CAD for these three items. So I'm going to hit add to CAD cart. You see selected items have been successfully added. And now my CAD says CAD is three in parentheses. And here's my items. I'm going to click request CAD file. And as I mentioned before, if you were going to go through and download a bunch of CAD models, you wouldn't want to go into each uh, items part detail page and do that you'd want to do it from here. So this is, I have three items selected. I say, and you can pick which versions of the CAD you want. 
I want to pick 3D and I want to pick the sales drawing. And then again, you can pick what format you want that in. And then I want to email this to myself or I want to email it to a customer or whoever. You just type their email into here and click request CAD files and that will email them uh, the CAD files. Now the final feature that I want to tell you about Bearing Finder is one of the most important. It, Bearing Finder is completely mobile friendly. Uh, anything you can do on the website can be done on the mobile site so you can access Bearing Finder on the go. Um, here's a screenshot of the home page if you access it through the mobile or through, through a mobile device. Um, as you can see the URL is the same. There's, you can access the mobile site the same way you access the site on a computer. Um, the layout is a slightly different, but that's just to make it mobile friendly. Again, this is going to be your all your products. If you click on one of these, it'll bring you into each product the same way it does on the website. Also, you see the little magnifying glass up here. That's how you would search for a part number, just like you do on the website. So, as you can see, go back to the home page and Bearing Finder in all of its glory. Bearing Finder is a public website. Uh, this is not private information, so your customers can use this. You can feel free to access it when a customer is at your desk, uh, customers at a counter, anywhere. You can, as was shown, you can easily send any of this information directly to your customers. And NTN Bearing Finder just makes life easier for you and your customers. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this webinar. Uh, please feel free to type any questions into the chat and I will reach out to you personally to answer any questions that any of you may have. Uh, you can also talk to your local NTN sales rep or NTN customer relations to learn more. Thank you all for your time and enjoy Bearing Finder.